Cashier Court is now in session. Honorable Judge Gordon Webb for time. Go ahead and be seated, please. Court will uh, commence with the uh, calling the matters 2014-108 and 2014-115, State of Arkansas versus Joseph Thompson. And upon review of the affidavit, court is making the appointment of the Public Defender's Office to represent Mr. Thompson. This matters for arraignment, uh, 2014-115 is for arraignment on charges of possession of a controlled substance, uh, methamphetamine, class D felony, and 2014-108 uh, is for arraignment on charges of failure to appear. Class C felony. And on both of those uh, cases, we would enter a plea of not guilty, waive formal arraignment. 2014-108 is a, a matter that the court has a, is assigned to this court's docket, and I'll set it for a, set the matter for trial uh, for November 10th and 11th. Judge, uh, if we could accelerate that, this man's waiting for DOC. He failed to appear for, uh, for a DOC bed. This would be a very simple case to try. And it probably be presented by the state. Yeah, I'm going to set it for a trial then uh, August 4th, 4th and 5th. Thank you, Your Honor. And uh, we'll set it for pretrial. Um, July 24th. All right. With respect to 2014-115, uh, the uh, charge of possession of methamphetamine, in that case, the court is going to set it down to uh, reappear in front of Judge Putman uh, on May 8th. 2014-113, State of Arkansas versus David Corbin. Based on the affidavit, the court is going to make the appointment of the Public Defender's Office to represent Mr. Corbin. This is for arraignment on charges of furnishing prohibited articles at the jail. You know, we've been in a plea of not guilty way formal uh, arraignment and reading of the charges on behalf of Mr. Corbin. I'm uh, noting the plea of not guilty and will make a uh, uh, order of reappearance in this case on the uh, on May 8th in front of Judge Putman. Judge, if I may, I've noticed that uh, on the probable cause affidavit, the bond is $1,000 and it's got amended to $3,500, but I do not think that was by a judicial officer. I think that was, um, I don't know if I did that or if we just assume that was the bond. But I wish the court would look at that and make a determination what the bond really is. Um, uh, or if the judicial officer has set this bond at $1,000, certainly it'll remain there. And we would ask the bond remain at $1,000 and... I'm surprised by that motion, John. I'm taking it back. <laughs> I will... Uh, Court's, court's going to set the uh, uh, bond at $1,000.